Welcome back to Blindly Honestly, and if you're new, I hope you enjoyed today's video as well. So today's video is a video I am so excited to film. Like, I have been waiting for this product to be released since I found out about this brand, and that is the ColourPop Foundation. So they recently released their No Filter Foundation, and I went ahead and bought myself two different shades just because it's summertime. I knew I was going to be going to the beach a lot this summer, so I wasn't sure what shade to get. So I ended up getting light 60 and light 55. So I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the foundation and then I will go into the review. And for the review, I also am doing a full face ColourPop. I got concealer, the pressed powder, bronzer, um, lipstick, and I got blush and highlighter. I am ready to go. I'm going full ColourPop. My eyeshadow is even full color pop. The only thing that is not color pop is my eyebrows, my lashes, my liner, and my contour. Everything else is going to be color pop for you guys. Okay, so this is the No Filter Foundation. And looking on their website, it is $12. They have, I think, about 40 different shades, which is a huge shade range. It is amazing. So on their website, it says that the, the No Filter Foundation was developed for the selfie age. Our full coverage natural matte foundation delivers flawless looking skin from night to day. The oil-free, lightweight formula blends smoothly and is easily customizable to create the coverage you want. Build it up or sheer it out. It was developed with innovative soft blurring pigments to deliver true, char true color while looking and feeling natural. The lockable pump is easy to use and keeps your routine mess free. As always, it is 100% cruelty and vegan friendly. And they say for a maximum coverage, you can use a large foundation brush, a medium foundation brush, or a flat kabuki brush. For a medium coverage, you can use duo fiber brush, small duo fiber brush, or a blending sponge and build it up and apply another layer for more coverage. And then you apply the no filter concealer to brighten under eyes or cover blemishes and uneven skin tone and set up the no filter loose setting powder or the pressed powder. I got pressed just because of my skin type. So, and like I said, it is vegan and cruelty free. So I am personally going to be using a foundation brush and this is from Morphe. I did not do any color correcting because I wanted to see just how good this foundation looks. The bottle itself is really pretty. It's just plain or just clear glass. It has the color pop logo and the stars all over it. I love, 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 love the design of these bottles. But it does not come with a cap when you order it, but the lid does lock and unlock so that it is safe to store in a makeup bag. So I am using the shade Light 60 because it is a bit more warm for my face and I feel like the Light 55 is not quite warm enough. Just mixing it up. I already primed my face with oil. So it's very, very watery right off the bat, just so you know. And let's see how it looks. So I'm really liking how it applies. I'm going to go over it with my Beauty Blender real quick just to kind of pat in where I may have missed. So the fact that this is such a watery foundation, I was kind of worried with it. And looking at my nose, like it's already gone off my nose. So I will have to go over that with the concealer. Uh, I do notice right here on my chin, it's already starting to seep into my chin and under my eyes. It's going to crease, I can tell. This is supposed to be a full oily skin, so I would hope that it wouldn't crease, but we will see. So hopefully it doesn't crease. I did have to use four pumps of product all together to cover my whole face. Two on this side, two on this side. I think because it's so watery, the brush really soaks it in. I did notice when I used my Beauty Blender, it did not suck as much up. So maybe I should have used it with my Beauty Blender instead. But I did want to try to get a full coverage. Looking at my face, since I did not do any color correcting, I am noticing that it did a really good job, especially like under my eyes, my chin. 
I really don't see any redness on my chin. It's just like a sheer coverage. So I'm going to kind of fast forward this part just because I'm going to do my full face now. But I am still going to show you everything I'm using. So while that set, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did have a little bit of a trouble with the concealer blending out. I feel like the fact that this concealer is so watery, just like the foundation, that it kind of just goes everywhere instead of staying, staying where you want it. Specifically on my nose, I noticed that it went all over the place. Now I am going in with Wing It, and this is a highlighting cheek duo, and I am in love with this color. So this is the blush, and this is the highlighter, and I love purple highlighters. I just love them. So I'm going to go with the blush first, and I'm not going to do a lot because this is a very bright blush. I'm just going to go gently. So the blush is called Whirl, and the highlighter is called Swirl. I'm loving the highlighter. I'm just going to put it here, and here, and here, and a little bit more her. Honey. Okay. So now what I'm most excited for is the lipstick that I bought. So the shade is called Confetti Cake, and it's so pretty. Will you still be So there's a reason why I never feel myself putting on lipstick is because I am horrible at it. But I love this lipstick and yes, it is big and bold and it does not really match the look at all. But, but, that is the whole point of lipstick. It is to make a statement. So now the look is finished. I'm going to go ahead and spray my face and for that I'm using the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. This is my favorite go-to setting spray because it leaves just like a nice glow to your face. So, <coughs> does that taste good? Oh, oh, sorry. So this is the final look with the ColourPop foundation. I will insert some flash photography right here. There's really not that much flashback with this, which is surprising because of how watery it was. I really expected there to be quite a bit of flashback. So I'm going to go ahead and wear this for the rest of the day. It is already 4.16, so I will check in with you guys around 11.30 to see how it looks. I do have to go do some things around town, so I am going to be wearing it out today. So I'm going to go finish out my rest of the day, and I will return later on tonight to give you guys my final full review. Alright, so hello. It is now 11.04 at night, so I had this foundation on for a little over five hours, and I don't like it. I'm sorry. I don't. Like I don't know if you guys can tell in this video, but when I put the foundation on, it was in a completely different color than it is right now. This oxidized like a little, and <laughs> I'm really, really upset. Like, I wanted this to be an amazing foundation 
because ColourPop is an amazing brand. I love everything they've came out with, but I just cannot get behind this foundation link. I have a second shade. I am going to try that out to see if it looks better or not. I don't know. Like, I look orange. Like, really, really orange. Yes, I was in the sun and I did get tanned, but I'm not this orange. Like, this is all foundation. And that is what makes me upset is the fact that it did not last. Like, my under eyes are completely creased. Like, I look like I haven't slept in ages around my nose. My forehead still looks good, but my oils came through like... Mm. I will say this about this foundation. It is very good coverage because you cannot really see my pimples right here. It covered them up pretty well. Um, I do see a little bit of blush. I don't see much highlighter anymore. My nose has no foundation on it at all. It's just... It's gone. <laughs> My nose never had foundation on to begin with because it came off when I was applying, so it was basically just concealer, which brings me to another point. I don't like the concealer. Like, I feel really bad giving a bad review about a brand that I love, but you know, that is what I'm here for. I am here for 100% honest and truthful reviews, so I'm going to give it to you straight. I don't like the concealer. It's too watery. It goes everywhere. It does not stay just where you want it to be. I tried cutting my cheekbone with or cutting my ch my chin line with it and it didn't really do a good job. And then I tried to do my nose and under my eyes. It just, I'm not a big fan. The concealer just doesn't work for me. I need more of a thicker, a thicker consistency. Like honestly, my holy grail concealer is the Kat Von D. Locky concealer, I feel like that is the perfect consistency. But on the other side, I do also love the Make It Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. That one is like a perfect consistency for my skin. So yeah, I was not a big fan. <laughs> Onto the bronzer, which is the Rodeo Dry Bronzer. I loved the shade. I wish it had stayed a little bit longer. It is a very red, bricky tone shade but it worked for my skin tone, at least I thought it did until my face turned orange. But yeah, no. <laughs> um, the lipstick. I thought it looked really, really good until I took a selfie. <laughs> like, selfie tells all. You will learn all the secrets when you take a selfie. It looks ridiculous in a picture. Sorry, it just did not look good on my skin tone because my skin looks really orange right now with this foundation. So this shade of lipstick just does not work. The blush. I love the purple highlighter and blush combo. I can still see a little bit of it, not much. There's not much shimmer left from the highlighter at all. <laughs> so this is like a, the, probably the worst review I've ever done and I hate that. Like, I am giving this foundation a two. <laughs> like, it oxidized, did not even stick on my nose. I think the fact that it was so watery did not do it any justice. It needs to be either as thick as the concealer is or a little bit thicker. Just because the fact that it is so watery, it just moves all over the place, doesn't stay where you want it to stay. I am going to try the other foundation shade and I'll update, like, I'll either do an update in another video or on my Instagram, which is blindly honestly on Instagram. And I'm sure you've already, already seen a million glowing reviews from this foundation. I don't know, I haven't watched any reviews yet because I wanted to have my own unfiltered opinion about it. But this is my own unfiltered opinion about it. It's not a very good foundation. It oxidizes. It doesn't stay matte. Doesn't blend very well. Doesn't stay where it needs to stay. If you have texturized skin, this is not going to work for you. If you have large pores, it's not going to look good. At least it doesn't for me. That was my review of the No Filter Foundation from ColourPop. If you guys have any questions about this foundation that I didn't answer personally, go ahead and com comment down below and I'll be more than happy to answer those questions for you. If you like this video, make sure you 
hit the like button, hit subscribe, and if you want to be part of mine, hashtag Butterfly Squad. Make sure you hit that bell so you be notified when I upload new videos. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific, and Friday nights at 8 p.m. I go live with Beauty Chats with Jen. It's just a fun, chill Friday night hangout talking about anything and everything in the beauty industry. So I'm going to get going. I love you guys so much. As I always say, thank you so much for your continuous love and support. You guys mean the world to me. And I wish you lots of love and whiskers. <laughs> so I will see you guys next time. Love you. Bye. Open eye Through the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds of